Hey guys, it's Erica here with Tiny Acorn. If you're new to my channel, I love vintage thrifting and mixing that with modern, um, ethical and sustainable brands whenever possible. I like to throw in a little bit of heart to heart as well. So if that sounds good to you, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. Today's video is going to be all about what I wore over the course of the last month of May. I have eight outfits to share with you guys and everything I talk about today I will link if it's available in my description box. So yeah, stay tuned if you guys want some outfit inspo. So today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. It's an online learning community with thousands of different classes for creative and curious people so you can get on there and you can learn about whatever it is that you want to learn. So I picked a course on interior design. I think it's an area where I do feel a little bit overwhelmed. So I was really happy to find this course called Interior Design Basics, Simple Steps to Your Perfect Space. And it was taught by Lauren Cox, who is actually a design manager at Havenly. And she did a really great job of describing all of the principles of design that kind of go into creating a really beautiful space. Okay, so right now Skillshare is actually giving away two free months of a premium membership to the first 1,000 people who click the link in my description box to help you explore your creativity. So after that, it's only $10 a month. I don't know about you, but I love learning, especially when it comes to creative stuff. Go check it out for yourself. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the outfit portion of this video. Hopefully you'll get some creative inspo. Hey guys, this is my new favorite dress. Um, I just was gifted this from Curator SF. You guys, I reached out to them uh, because I have been admiring their clothing for a while. They're a local San Francisco brand and everything is made to order, sustainable, all that good stuff. And I thought, why am I not working with them? Definitely wanna be supporting my local San Francisco brands. So this is a gorgeous dress called the Alma dress. I just love this fabric, you guys. It's so beautiful. It is lined underneath, which is really nice because otherwise it would be a see-through dress because the fabric is thinner. Um, but have that built-in slip for you so you don't have to worry about that. I love that you can wear it off the shoulder or you can wear it up like that. And it's still just as cute. It comes with a little tie at the waist and I have it tied up above my bump here so that there's like room there and I'm gonna be able to wear this dress like all throughout my pregnancy, so I'm really excited about that. I paired it with this little blue bandana because I've just kind of been loving wearing bandanas lately um, as neck scarves, and I think it just adds a little bit of a cute flair, especially with the, the off the shoulder look. Um, and then I am wearing my Nasolo Harachis. These babies I've had since my Europe trip, and I did a shoe review on them, which I'll link for you guys if you're interested. So yeah, I am going to take our dog Margot to the vet today, and this is what I'm planning on wearing there. All right, you guys, I will see you next time. Hey guys, back with another Ood. So today we are going to go for a drive because it's very gloomy outside and it's the weekend and we don't really wanna hang out in our backyard since it's gloomy. So going for a drive sounds like the best option. So I am wearing this loose flouncy little blouse from Target of all places. Um, I'm really thankful for it right now because the whole high-waisted pants and tucking shirts into it is just like not happening for me anymore with my belly. 
so <laughs> I'm wearing my maternity jeans that I got from Old Navy. They were boot cut and I turned them into straight leg crop jeans. I actually did a tutorial on how to do this on my IGTV. So I paired this little outfit with this Able bag and I paired it with their little espadrilles. These are super cute. I like that they're red and so they kind of give this outfit a little bit more interest. Then I'm wearing my Able Shop earrings. So this is actually a different Able company. <laughs> kind of confusing, but Able Shop is this girl named Liv. You can find her on Instagram. She sells lots of really cute handmade earrings like this. And she also sells vintage. So go check her out. All right, to top off the look, I am wearing these new Easy Peasy glasses. I reached out to them and told them how much I love their glasses. <laughs> and I was basically like, please work with me. I love your glasses, I wear them all the time. So they sent these to me and this is a part of their Bloom collection, which is really fun. So yeah, so this is my whole head to toe outfit for our drive today. I will see you guys next time, bye. Hello guys, another day, another outfit. So this outfit is my dog walking outfit. <laughs> And it's a little chilly outside because we're in San Francisco, so that's why I have a beanie on and this quilted jacket and a sweatshirt. So this sweatshirt was thrifted. It's like this really light blue kind of color and I embroidered No Problemo on it. I like the red and the light blue combo. It's kind of cool. And then I paired it with my mollusk pants, which are some of the only pants that still fit me um, high-waisted. I paired that with this white quilted jacket from Everlane that I really like. I have it in two colors because I like it so much. And then also these little Everlane court sneakers, which are really fun. And I like how they have the little mustard detail there. And of course, I paired it with my Easy Peasy glasses because I hardly ever go anywhere without these guys. And to match all of my red that I have going on, I put on Glossier Zip on my lips. And that's one of my favorite lip colors to wear. It's kind of like a chapstick and not so much a lip stick. So that's why I really like wearing it. So yeah, this is my final look, my final dog walking look. <laughs> I'll see you guys later, bye. Hey guys, back with another outfit of the day. So this outfit is my really easy, slouchy, relaxed <laughs> look. Um, so I started out by wanting to wear this top. This is from a brand called Only Child that I am just obsessed with. You guys have probably seen me talk about their black high waist wide leg cove pants. They're so cute and so comfortable. But this is a linen top and it's this really beautiful dusty rose color and it's perfect for being pregnant. I had been wanting tunic tops that were longer and I just love the kind of minimalist look that this blouse gives and I feel like a lot of their clothing and styles on their website are really cool and like minimalist so Go check them out. I will link them down below. Um, and then I paired it with my Old Navy trousers that I've been wearing a lot. These guys are just nice and basic. Um, it's a linen blend. I like how there's a pocket and I like that they're a little bit lower waisted because now the bump has begun to interfere with my high-waisted style <laughs> so <laughs> we're having to improvise um and then i paired it with these shoes which i think are my new favorite sandals you guys um i got these from the brand rothy's they have lots of different styles this one i thought was perfect for spring and summer and then i went ahead and paired everything with my little machette tortoise shell uh hoops and my black hat that I thrifted at Buffalo Exchange. 
um, and I'll link that video for you guys. And then this tote, you guys, I've been wearing it non-stop. I have been such a tote person, but I always use like cloth totes and everything. And so I thought, you know what? It's about time to do a leather tote. And I've taken it outside into the river and my dog splashed water all over it. Normally I would be concerned if it was cloth and I would need to wash it. <laughs> but this guy has held up so well and I think that's just the beauty a beautiful leather piece is it's just gonna age and get a really great patina over time so yeah I think it's definitely worth investing in a good quality um, leather bag if you know you're a tote person like me definitely recommend this one okay so this is the final look I will see you guys next time bye Hello, back with another outfit of the day. So this is a really cute green little dress. I got this from Free People and I don't actually often shop there, but I always link everything in the description for you guys and sometimes when I can't find the dress that I'm wearing, I look for dupes. So I was looking for a dupe for you guys so that I could link of another dress and then I found this one and I couldn't pass it up because look at this color and this pattern. I've never seen a dress like this before. I really like green clothes and I hardly ever find them. So I thought it would be great to get. Also, it fits me while I'm pregnant and so that's obviously a huge selling point for me right now. So anyways, I paired it with my Everlane clogs I really like these guys because they're super lightweight and I have them in the woven color as well. And then my hair I put up in a ponytail, which I don't really do very often, but I just felt like it today. And I'm wearing this lipstick that I forgot I had. It's actually, I got a little sample size of it. The brand is Bite and the color is Cayenne. It's like this really nice red color. And then I'm wearing my Casa Clara earrings, these little green guys, they're pretty, and this company is female owned. I'll link their shop below, I don't think they have this exact pair anymore. And then I decided to wear this ring that I like hardly ever wear, this is a vintage turquoise Native American ring that I got on a killer deal at a flea market. Okay, so this is the final look head to toe. Bye! Hey guys, back with another Ood. So um, we're about to take our dog Margot out for a little walk. So I wanted to keep it nice and casual. Started with this little chambray blouse from Tradlands, um, this sustainable clothing company. I absolutely love them. And then I am wearing this mustard yellow cardigan that my mother-in-law bought for me at Nordstrom Rack. It is made well and it is a size or two <laughs> too big for me but I bought it oversized because I liked how that looked and that kind of just goes to show you like you don't need to pay attention to the size on the tag just wear what you feel good in and for me I just liked the slouchy fit of this and so even though it was a size or two too big I still got it. Um, wearing my old navy maternity jeans and then I am wearing my Everlane court sneakers and they've become my new walking in the park sneaker they're really comfy and I just love them so much okay and my accessories are these easy peasy glasses they're light blue I really like them my dear survivor leather bag and my beloved Kinto water bottle that I literally don't go anywhere without. I absolutely love this water bottle. Yeah, so this is my final dog walking outfit. See you guys later. Hello. I am getting ready to do my last interview for my confidence week um, that I'm doing on my Instagram. If you guys haven't seen my confidence week series, go to my Instagram, Go check it out. There's just some amazing, amazing live chats that I did with some incredible women. And it's all saved on my IGTV under my Confidence Week series. 
anyways, so today I am wearing this gorgeous dress from this brand called Velotion. They're an amazing sustainable clothing brand. Their fabrics are to die for. This is a beautiful hand tie-dyed dress. It even has pockets. Um, I mentioned this in my last video on my favorite sustainable brands. So if you haven't watched that, go check it out. I paired it with these little Swedish clogs that were gifted to me by this brand called Sandsgren. And they actually are going to be featured in my video next week. And I'll be sharing more about their amazing clogs. And then I decided to pair the whole look with a dark lip. So I did this Glossier lipstick on my lips. It is called Generation G and it's the color Jam. Really like it. Then I decided to wear these little vintage earrings. They're really cute. And my hair is very different than I normally do it. But my husband said it was cute. So I'm just going with it. <laughs> All right, so this is my final look for today. See you guys next time. Bye. All right. So it's really warm out today, and so I wanted to wear this dress on a walk that I went on. This is actually a thrifted wrap dress that I got on my last time thrifting before the quarantine. And it's uh, actually an Urban Outfitters dress. But I love it so much. It has these like pockets on either side. The pockets are so cute and I like how it's a wrap because there's plenty of room for my bump. And then I knew I wanted to wear a hat because it's sunny and bright outside and I've been wearing a lot of hats lately um, and kind of just leaving my hair natural because I just have been not wanting to not curl it and not fry it every day since I'm just at home. And then I decided to wear some of my older Southwestern style jewelry, which I love. And I have a bolo tie collection, but I don't remember the last time I wore one. Like it's been so long. So I pulled this little Thunderbird guy out and put him on. And I put on this little bracelet that I got, I don't even remember how long ago. I actually don't wear bracelets very often, so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do it today. Then I'm wearing this lip color that I don't normally wear either, so I feel like everything is kind of different for me today, but I'm rolling with it. I decided to wear my Everlane clogs. I love these, they're neutral, they go with everything. And then this company, Radley, they make purses. They sent me this little bucket bag. So I liked the tan color matching the tan bolo and the shoes. It's just kind of like this natural bohemian, I guess a little bit Southwestern vibe going on that I'm kind of feeling today. Oh yeah, so that's my outfit of the day. Hope you guys enjoyed, bye. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you got something inspirational out of this video. Thanks for your support as always. And let me know which outfit you liked the best and why. Remember that you are beautiful just the way you are. Bye.